So surprise PlayStation Network refund news, a new big PlayStation 5 game update is coming and Stellar Blade gameplay time has the devs worried. Those are the stories we're going to cover today and if you could hit that like button on the video, thank you to those that do it and as always, it's very much appreciated. First, yes or no, have you played the Stellar Blade demo yet or not? It's been out for a bit now with the full game launching later this month. Have you given it a try yet? So comment below, yes or no, if you've played the Stellar Blade demo or not. Let me know down in the comments below. Now diving into the first story of the video, Stellar Blade gameplay time has the devs worried. Reading from Eurogamer, Stellar Blade's developer has asked players to go easy on the game's demo with some players racking up over 50 hours of playtime. The demo for the forthcoming action game was released on the 29th of March with progress carrying over to the main game. As such, some players have been mining the demo for experience to level up the main character Eve before they get to the full game due out on April. 26. We're so grateful for your love for our game, said Shift Up on a post on X. To enjoy the main game properly, though, please go easy on the demo. 50 plus hours of the demo play were scared. According to Ampere Analysis, as reported by Game World Observer, the Stellar Blade demo peaked at 690,000 daily active users. This is reportedly almost twice that of the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo, which peaked at 300 and 80 thousand daily active users so i thought about doing something like this as well <laughs> but i have uh, similar thoughts to what the developer said i want to go into the game and enjoy it properly at launch i will say though it's still something that's on my mind that i might do i'm not a perfect person i might just do this mining situation it's there you can mine the demo and go into the main game stacked at launch but you gotta add, it's, a, it's a balance of will it still be as fun if you're going into the game right away overpowered well i don't i don't really know that i some you're gonna have to try that out and see how it is at launch i also have other games to play as well like final fantasy 7 rebirth rise of the ronin so i gotta get through those anyways before even attempting to do this mining situation on the demo but I'll probably just play the game normally at launch. And if you're enjoying the video so far, hit that subscribe button and join our growing community on our way to 150,000 subscribers. Now diving into the second story of the video, PSN refund news. So this one was a surprise to see considering how horrible Sony's refund situation is on PSN. Uh, reading from Dot Sports, Ubisoft has recently decided to hit the crew kill switch, removing the racing game's online functionality. Following a ton of community backlash, one player decided to ask for a refund of their PlayStation copy from nine years ago, nine years after originally purchasing it. And it seems like they actually got it after asking. The player shared this information on the Crew 2's subreddit on Monday, April 8th, with the allegedly refunded gamer claiming the purchased they purchased the original title in 2015. I didn't play the game that much since then, and on March 31st, after nine years, I contacted PlayStation support to get me a refund because the game is not working anymore, uh, they wrote. The user was surprised by PlayStation's move, which granted them a full refund of $95, that they had purchased for the Crew Gold Edition back in February 2015. So, for those who don't know, from my understanding, the Crew needs online to do anything. So, if you don't have that anymore, the game just isn't really playable. So, a game you paid nearly $100 for in 2015 is now useless. And apparently, that's what allowed this guy to get a refund because essentially... The game is broken. There's been a movement about game preservation, whether that's discussions with backwards compatibility with Sony and emulation and that whole situation with Nintendo. There are issues. Games like Gran Turismo 7 also had a whole situation when it launched because that game is mainly playable online. Polyphony Digital could, at the end of its life cycle, allow the game to be playable offline, but again, that's at the mercy of the publisher slash developer. To take this even further with Ubisoft, there are reports now that Ubisoft is removing the crew from people's accounts 
<laughs> they're removing it from people's accounts ubisoft is doing good stuff with their new games but this is definitely not a good look this is the future gamers are worried about but i will say an online game is an online game it's going to be shut down at some point we know this but there should be a way to play the game offline if the whole game and the crew situation is online only you know they should still be able to access some of the campaign missions or something like that just while it's offline as well to validate their purchase in some way. But you guys let me know if you played the crew or not. Let me know down in the comments below. And now diving into the final story of the video, surprise PlayStation 5 game update. Reading from Game Informer, Fallout 4's new gen update hits PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X later this month, bringing with it 60 FPS, increased resolution, stability improvements, and more. Hot on the wheels of Amazon's Fallout TV series, which premiered yesterday with all eight episodes available for viewing, the Fallout 4 new gen update arrives on April 25th. With this new update, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series Series X players will get a new native Fallout 4 application, assuming they already own previous gen versions of the RPG, performance and quality mode settings in the game, stability improvements and fixes, 60 FPS gameplay, and increased resolutions. On previous gen consoles, Fallout 4 players will receive a free update with stability improvements and login and quest fixes. So this is great to see an older game like this get a modern refresh with better resolution, better performance, and stability and of course it's nice that it goes alongside with the show similar to what you know sony does with their movies uh, bloodborne fans are probably seeing this with a lot of pain in their hearts this is an update that i assume wouldn't take long if they did it for bloodborne as well but the rumor there of course as we know now we've covered this already is that we're waiting for the playstation 6 with a full bloodborne demon souls level level like remake coming at the launch of the playstation 6 however getting back to fallout 4 the update drops on april 25th not far from now but you guys let me know if you're going to be playing fallout 4 again or not let me know down in the comments below and if you guys did enjoy this video please hit that like button as it always helps to subscribe if you're new i got new videos every monday wednesday and friday and now i'll check you guys out on the next one and welcome back to the after show this is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below if you're old welcome back if you're new welcome for today's thing what i want you guys to do is to body obliterate destroy and overall harass the comment section with bring on the blades obviously i'm referring to stellar blade here i'm excited for the game's launch if you are as well destroy the comment section with bring on the blades and i'll definitely heart those comments like i always do because i appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos and now i'll check you guys out on the next one